Child Care Safety Act is just a step closer to becoming law as it passes the House Committee. The law would force religious-based daycare centers to have similar regulations to licensed ones. And this comes just months after a five-year-old mobile boy died in the hands of a religious-based daycare. News 5's Mary Smith has more. It passed the House Committee, and local parents tell us they'd like to see it keep going. House Bill 76 would establish the Child Care Safety Act, forcing faith-based child care centers to be inspected once a year and do background checks on their employees. If we put their safety first, then a lot of things can be avoided. The bill's discussion comes after five-year-old Camden Johnson was left in a hot van in August while under the care of the community ministries and preschool academy. Court documents say his caretaker, Valerie Patterson, dumped his body at the side of the road. She's charged with abuse of a corpse and has an arrest record dating back over 25 years. Delatoria Lucas is the director of a licensed child care facility here in Mobile and would like to see House Bill 76 go through. If you're working with children, you, the minimum requirement should be done everywhere. If, you know, background check because you're dealing with people's kids. And as far as fairness, I think we all should have to do that regardless if we're faith-based or not. Also on board are local parents. I think it's a good idea simply because it give us a chance as parents to know what's going on at the school. I think if they're taking care of children, then you need to know who they are and ensure that they are not felons or have a criminal background. That was Mary Smith reporting. The bill is sponsored by Representative Peplin Warren of District 82. Mary reached out to her office for comment but hasn't heard back.